Hi everyone, my name is Anne Marie. Welcome to Fab Scraps project number 25. Now today we're going to make a gorgeous card using the spilt milk collection from Fab Scraps. Now at the moment, at the time of I'm filming this, the spilt milk collection is still available to order. So please check the link on my blog if you are interested in ordering your spilt milk in a fab box. However, when it comes to showing the video, maybe it won't be available. So it is the case of check availability. Now the good news and the bad news for today is, the bad news is this is the last Fab Scraps Spilt Milk Collection project that we're going to do. Last week was the last Antique Elegance project that we had. But the good news is we're going to be waiting for new collections now from Fab Scraps. I can't tell you whether it's going to be before Christmas or after Christmas, but if you hit that subscribe button right at the end in this corner, then you will be notified when new videos and new tutorials are available. And then that way you'll be able to see the unboxing of the new fab boxes when I receive them. Today's card, everything I use, I should put in a detailed list on my blog, so please be sure to check it out. It is a perfect card, and I think it's really awesome. And you can substitute lots of the flowers, I think. But it's a good one to give to anybody who is a cat lover or likes our furry families. Please check out the extra photos on the blog, both inside and outside of the card. And sit back, relax. I think you're going to enjoy this one. And it, don't forget, it's the last one for the Spilt Milk Collection. So please sit back, relax, and let's have a look at today's gorgeous Fab Scraps project. For today's tutorial, we're using the Fab Scraps Spilt Milk Collection. My base card that I'm going to use has been made from cutting one of the um, cardstock sheets in the collection to a piece of cardstock that is 10 inches by 7 inches wide. I've then scored it and folded it in half to create a card base that is 5 inches by 7 inches high. Now this is a great way to use your cardstock because you know then everything is going to match. I've already scored it, I've already folded it but I haven't used my bone folder to make sure I've got a nice sharp crease. So I can do that by running the bone folder along the edge. I've already stamped it on the back with my handmade by stamp and I've added my name and Fab Scraps 25. So we can start by creating the inside. Now because all of the collection papers are double sided, that means it's great for making your base cards from because you've got pattern inside and outside automatically. So all we need to do is create something that's a little bit different. This card has very few elements to it, however it is such a gorgeous card and we've kind of gone cat dog cat dog cat dog cat and so today we're making a kitty cat card I've cut a layer of paper from the collection in the dark green now they're all double sided of the papers and the dark green is has, well it has this pattern on the back side of it and the dark green on the other side. I know sometimes it's difficult to use double sided papers because both sides have beautiful designs on them but sometimes you have to and we have to so I've used the dark green for the inside then I've cut a piece of ivory cardstock and I've just used one of the stamps in my stash and it just says best wishes. I've stamped it just at the bottom and I've used black permanent ink. So I've got flat tape on the back of this and I can peel it away and I can add it slightly to one side of the card like so and then press it down. Now in the collection there are some beautiful images and this is this is just one of them the bird in the cage I've cut the paper away and I've cut it away from the side of the bird cage just to one side 
and then the other side I've left intact. I've got flat tape on the back and what I can do then because I've cut it away I can position it where I want it to go on the insert. So we'll just take that last piece of tape away and you'd think with my nails that I could always manage it and you'd always think I was prepared. There we go. So now we can add this to the inside and it's cut a little bit shorter than the actual base layer but longer than the ivory so then it kind of like hides some of the ivory and it will sit over the edge like that and it just sits over the top of the stamped word at the bottom and that is the insert complete and I think that is just so easy and I love the difference in the colour and that would make a great front you could do that central and stamp at either side and it would just look great so now we can turn our attention to the outside as I say there's not many elements to this but it's how it's put together that makes it stand out so for the outside we want a base layer like we had for the inside and again this is from one of the double sided sheets from the spilt milk collection and I'm just simply adding that to the front of our card I've cut it about a quarter of an inch smaller than the actual base of the card then I've taken one of the elements that's in the collection and I've cut it out now it had a black layer around the edge I've cut that away as well and then I've used glossy accents to accent the cat and the little bird sat on the bird cage. And it says we were made for each other. Perfect and ironic. So I've got 3D foam on the back and I can just position this on our card front. And then press it down like that. And then for this section here, I've cut some of the collar away that's an embellishment that's included in the collection and I'm just going to add this down the side of the card like so and then trim the excess away so that it fits the card perfectly like that. Now we just want a couple of embellishments on here. Now throughout the time we've been spending with spilt milk I've not really added any flowers or anything to it because it's all pets and trying to work flowers into pets was a little bit difficult but then it struck me as I was prepping this and I thought you know what Look, we just need to add some because it's going to work because you're using the papers from the collection. So I've taken one of my favourite dies, which is this coral die that I purchased from the great auction site. And it's just, you know, a die that you would scroll past, but it makes a great background. I've die cut some of the bones, uh, the fish bone paper in that die and I've done it twice I've got it on flat tape and I'm simply just adding it to either side of the centre of the card like that and then I've used a foliage die that I have and I've just die cut this twice and I'm simply going to add that down the seam of the actual collar that we had. And then I've die cut it again. And 
I'm going to add that in reverse at the bottom so that we've got just that little bit of extra there and that was die cut from the collection I've made three flowers now these flowers you've seen me use um, not so much the dies but you've seen me use these flowers before they're just simple layering techniques and I'm sure you will have flower dies in your stash the centre was a circle cut out from a circle die, the smallest die that I have for a circle and then I've just stamped it with a background stamp that was a crisscross and it just makes it look more authentic. I've got 3D foam on the back and I'm simply going to add that to the centre of our foliage that we've added. I've then die cut two more flowers and these are just the base of the chrysanthemum that I've cut out here and then two rolled roses in the centre again they were all using the papers from the collection 3D foam again on the back of them and I'm just adding them onto the green foliage and you know what? that is actually our card finished it is a quick card and it's ideal for using any of your collections with basically if you have any flowers that you have left over you could always use those if they're in the same colour tones all well and good if they're not use an ink pad change them help them along to match the papers that you're using if you don't have the spilt milk collection again use the papers you have in your stash i'm sure you have some gorgeous sentiments and embellishments that you might want to use but it's all about putting it together and way positioning it and making it look like you've spent a lot of time on it and we've only spent a few minutes on it it stands up perfectly it's definitely going to go on that kitty cat mantle piece the inside is just as beautiful as the outside and matches perfectly and you can see the layers it probably will need a bit of packing or a box I did a video quite a while ago a couple of Christmases ago about how to make a box for cards like this that would be ideal I will take lots and lots of photos on my blog um, to show you the different angles of the card and the different items etc I just hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope you've enjoyed watching the two collections that we've been using from Fab Scraps and this draws to a close the current two collections for me because we've done seven or eight different tutorials with the Antique Elegance and the, um, the Spilt Milk collection so now I get a chance to have a little bit of time off on a Wednesday and I get a chance to wait for the new collections whether they're this side of Christmas or the other side of Christmas if they're here before Christmas week I will endeavour to film the reveal for them I will do that as soon as I possibly can and then start with the tutorials maybe after Christmas it depends when they come so please watch Facebook and my blog for different announcements for that. It's always a bit difficult to let you know what's happening when and where when we're waiting for companies to send things and for maybe they're being printed, whether it's before Christmas, after Christmas. But keep an eye out for when they start up. I'm sure you know you'll all look on Facebook and my blog anyway. So I would like to say thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.